Hi, I am Vinod Kumar. I moved to Cambridge to work with Richard Henderson in the Laboratory of Molecular Biology. Then I moved back to India in 2017 to set up the cryo-EM facility in Bangalore at NCBS and INSTEM. So my primary research objectives here in Bangalore is focusing on membrane protein structure and dynamics, in particular on enzymes and ion channels in, in eukaryotic cells. So we just started in 2017 and most of them are targeted towards some of the diseases. Because I am running a national facility, I cater to the needs of other researchers in the campus who work on various things including ribosomes and protein associated with ribosomes involved in translation which indirectly cause diseases. So the challenges we face in membrane protein research is to make good protein. So in the old days, to do crystallography or crystallization, you need a lot of protein and then an access to synchrotron. And most of these eukaryotic membrane proteins, they do not crystallize. And the biggest advantage I see with cryo-EM and it advances is that you need very little protein, so you are able to make reasonable amount in mammalian cells and without the need for crystals, so you are able to get a structure very fast. So understanding the structure of membrane proteins is very critical because if you take the pharma drug market currently, more than 40 to 50 percent of the drugs are targeted to membrane proteins simply because they are involved in a lot of signaling which indirectly result in diseases like cancer, neurodegenerative diseases, etc. So having a structure helps us to focus on exactly where to work. So the product which Thermo is a scientific, the high-end product for EM, the cryos, is highly automated. So you can load up to 12 specimen and look at one at any given time and you can run a data collection for up to three or four days or maximum of a week which means that you can set up data collection go away and when you come back you have enough data to process the next step which is again automated so the whole workflow which made by thermo scientific has become so easy that anybody can use it so my outlook on cryo-EM in health and diseases uh, can be explained with one example of Zika virus outbreak in Brazil where a lot of children got infected and died. So scientists took that as a challenge to use cryo-EM to get structure of Zika virus, not one group but there were multiple groups. So from an Indian context I see a lot of tropical diseases such as malaria and chikungunya or dengue which are more common in say sub Indian subcontinent will benefit a lot from cryo-EM to develop next generation of vaccines and small molecules which can inhibit.